Hi, today we're gonna speak about the determination of blood groups. So I should know about the blood group determination. It's always good to have a knowledge on the importance of blood donation and transfusion. And you should have a knowledge on evading measures of blood transfusion reactions. And who knows what will happen to you. So there are four main types of blood groups. That's group A, group B, group AB and group O. The blood group is determined by two genes out of three types, A, B and O. So there are six possible genotypes where every person has a single type, only a single type. So when there is genotype A and A, the blood group is A. When the genotype B and B is available, the blood group is B. When the genotype A and B is available, the blood group is AB. When the genotype A and O is available, the blood group is A. When the genotype B and O is available, the blood group is B. When the genotype O and O is available, the blood group is O. So, in red blood cells, in cell membrane, it has antigens or agglutinogens. These are made of glycolipids and glycoproteins, while plasma contains antibodies or agglutinins. So, in blood group A, it has antigen A in red blood cell membrane, while antibody B in plasma. Additionally, in humans, there are there is another factor, additional antigen called rhesus factor or the rhesus antigen. When this factor is available, it is said that it is rhesus positive, and when factor is not present, it is rhesus negative. So, let's go for the test of dis determination of blood groups. So, there are several materials required surgical spirit, cotton sterile lancet, clean dry glass lights, anti A, anti B, and anti D, and normal saline, toothpicks, hand lens, and two microscopes. Same type of antigens and antibody cannot exist in the same person. This principle is used in the determination of blood groups. So first, as a safety measure, we have to wear a pair of gloves and wipe the index finger of the non-dominant hand of the colleague or the patient with surgical spirit, dipped cotton and let it dry. Prick the finger with sterile lancet and quickly place three separate drops of blood on a slide and another drop of blood on a separate slide. An adequate amount of anti-A, anti-B and anti-D on three separate blood drops. And you should not touch the blood with the tip of the reagent bottle because it can get contaminated. So you have to mix all four drops with four separate toothpicks and do not forget that you should not mix all these four toothpicks. Allow to stand for 8 to 10 minutes. The clumping, the clotting or the agglutination with anti-A and anti-B are observed soon and clear. And agglutination with anti-D is slow and may take up to 20 minutes. Inspect the blood and the sera with controlled mixture. The initial inspection is done by naked eye, handless and finally with the microscope. The clumping or agglutination is observed and the blood group is interpreted. When added anti-A, if it shows clumping, it means the blood has A blood group. And meanwhile, as same as that, if we add anti-B and if it clumps, it shows the blood contains blood group B. And with that, when added anti D, the rhesus positive blood shows clumping and rhesus negative blood negative blood does not show clumping. This procedure can be used to detect any person's blood group. So as so in several cases, in several clinical applications, this determination is done. In hemolytic disease of newborn or HDN disease and in blood transfusion or donation, this blood determination tests are done and do you know that one pint of blood can save up to three lives and it's simple it's painless and it's a heartfully emotional thing so thank you very much for listening